Okay, question number two on the friction worksheet. A skate decides to glide to a stop. Assume the floor is level. She is going at 2.5 meters per second initially, and how far will she slide? Uh, this is a question, uh, a kinematics question. So uh, the information we already know is the initial uh, initial velocity is 2.5. And then uh, decelerate. Uh, so we need to know the acceleration, uh, which we can find out later, right? So we don't know it for now, but we know uh, it will finally stop. So the final velocity is zero. Okay. So now the question is you have to find out the uh, the friction, and then uh, depending on the the skater and the eyes, so we can find out the coefficient from the table at uh, uh, the beginning of the sheet. Uh, it is 0 0.05, so we'll write mu k, right, kinetic, because it's sliding, 0 0.05. Okay, so that information is going to help us to find out the acceleration. A uh, free body diagram, so if the person, you know, uh, slide, glide, uh, skate, right? Skate, and then uh, this is eyes. Skate. So a free body diagram will show that there is abnormal force from the eyes pushing uh, the skater up. The gravity FG uh, from the earth pulling her uh, down and there must be uh, friction okay, against the motion uh, if initially moving this way right? and uh, finally it's gonna stop so from here you can see uh, the acceleration uh, will be the uh, net force uh, which is actually the friction here uh, let me put a net force for now so net force, that's the Newton's second law, divided by the mass of the skater. Uh, don't worry about it, you don't know the M. So the net force uh, is actually the FF, right? because you see the three forces acting on it, but vertically there's no motion, so FN equals FG. So the only uh, one force left, uh, of course that's net force and the friction, the kinetic friction using the formula mu k times the fn and as we said earlier the fn equals fg equals fg which equals mg in this case and you can cancel the m now just be careful, uh, uh, Fn is not always equals Fg, okay? Now don't test as a formula, okay? So you have to use Newton's second law to help you to understand, in this case, uh, Fn does equal the Fg, but not always. Okay, so you can see you got mu k times g, and you can calculate, right? So mu k equals 0 0.05 times 9.8. Okay, so we can we don't have to calculate now. So then the question asking for how far will she slides? So the question asking for the displacement. So we can use the average velocity. Oh, sorry. So the formula here uh, to find out displacement, we should use the formula V final squared equals V initial squared plus 2AD. And then you know this is actually uh, 0, it's gone. So uh, the D from this equation, uh, you can see uh, D equals negative v initial squared 
over 2a okay uh, velocity initial velocity is 2.5 squared so if we take the forward direction as positive so like this is positive 2.5 and then the acceleration must be the same direction of the friction so it's negative so we use 2 negative negative the number is here 0 0.05 times 9.8 okay so the answer would be 6.4 meter okay you can do that calculation okay okay question number six uh, there's a vertical wall and, uh, the, and you want to hold a block uh, with mass 2.0 kg against the vertical wall uh, and you can hold it because there's a friction okay uh, so you don't want it to slide downwards and then the question asks you how much force do you need to push it against the wall uh, if the mu is the coefficient of the static friction between the block and the wall is 0.55 Okay, uh, this kind of question you need to understand uh, when you push with the force of FA against the wall so uh, the wall is gonna try to push back with the normal force acting on the block so you can see the two surfaces one is uh, uh, the block one is the wall they are pressed against each other in that case the friction will be created uh, uh, what's the direction of the friction unit depending on the tendency of the motion right the block is not supposed to move that's your goal you have to push hard enough so that it won't slide down but it has a tendency of moving down because of the gravity so that means you can figure out the friction must be against this tendency so that's why we draw the friction is going up uh, if we can hold still so that means this, the block is not moving so this two forces must be equal and this two force must be equal as well so all the forces are equal um, the question asking how much force do you need to push uh, it's implied that it's asking for a minimum force okay, so yes it's asking for a minimum Force. Uh, the question is, should you make it clear, say how much minimum force is required to push it against the wall? Uh, because if you push very with a very big force, so that's uh, this is free body diagram, so you can understand in this case uh, the Fn. Fn does not equal Fg at all, right? So I mentioned this is because a lot of people think Fn equals Fg all the time. No, not at all. You can see these two forces, one is horizontal, Fn is horizontal, Fg is vertical. They don't have anything to do with each other, okay? So, but you can get its conclusion is the two horizontal forces, uh, the Fn must equal F, F A, so that would be true, right? So this is not true. And vertically, because uh, it's not moving down, so we should get the F G and equals F F, right? So that's also you can uh, get this conclusion. And because question asks for minimal force, so that means you have to use uh, the maximum friction force. Uh, otherwise, uh, otherwise you can always uh, use a smaller force, right? So in this case, uh, another relation is the FF is actually uh, must be the maximum friction force here, so it must be equal to mu. S times F L. 
Okay, if I all this relation put them together, you, you got all these three relation together, so you can definitely find out how much is Fn. So the Fn should equal F F divided by mu s and at ff you from here you can see equals fg so you get fg over mu s and fg equals uh, mg mu s so you get 2.0 9.8 divided by 0 0.55 equals 36 newton. Okay, done.